going on guys multiverse crypt here with yet another action figure review video and today we are having a look at ravenger thor from thor love and thunder so as you can see guys we're having a look at the marvel legends thor from thor love and thunder this one obviously being the ravenger thor this is this is what he's going to be wearing when he's hanging out with the guardians of the galaxy and I'm actually very excited to see how Thor is going to react with the Guardians because that was just that was just the perfect blend of comedy in Endgame with how Thor acted with Star Lord. But with all that said, guys, as you can see, we are looking at this beautiful packaging that Marvel Legends gives us. We do have the Legends series at the top of the open face window. Thor Love and Thunder down here at the bottom with Ravenger Thor written down there. We do have the cracked mail there at the top. Oh, here is a beautiful image of Thor himself. And then on the back is just this stunning piece of artwork here, along with the rest of the figures that come in this wave. And there is even a back read up right here on the top. Thor wields the mighty Stormbreaker against a terrifying new foe. So with all that said, guys, let's go ahead and rip Thor out of the packaging and get him in hand. Before we get Thor out here, guys, on the rotating turntable, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that the Ravager Thor does come with. He does come with a Build-A-Figure piece. This is Korg's left hand, and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous with, with about that authentic bracer, like leather or hide feel to it with the little stubs painted into it we're really looking forward to get this core completely built as for thor himself he actually does come with a stormbreaker and this stormbreaker compared to the other stormbreaker as you can see here is painted with a little more love this one was given like definitely given more love than this one here so I'm still going to display this Stormbreaker with the other Thor figure that I have. But this one here, I feel like this is the one that they were looking at 100%. They went all in with this little bit of paint detail, but it just makes all the difference in my eyes. I think this Stormbreaker is absolutely perfect. So, with all that said, guys, let's go ahead and get Thor out here on the rotating turntable. Here, guys, is Ravenger Thor out of the package, front and center for you guys. And I think he looks absolutely beautiful. I love this figure. I think compared to the other Thor figure, which is chilling just right over here, I do love his armored suit, but I have to respect the 80s vest he's got going on here. And this one takes the cake for me. This Thor is the superior one in my eyes also on the account of this one here kind of having a from a distance not really up close so it's kind of defeating me there but from a distance i can't help but see like a cross-eyed look from where his eyes placement is in his helmet but i digress i think this figure is absolutely beautiful so let's go ahead and get him off the rotating turntable and see how tall he is and how he stacks up compared to other figures and articulation now as for how tall this figure stands guys this marvel legends thor stands at just about the six and a half just a little over the six and a half mark we'll have to see how he compares to the mcfarlane toys actually so We'll actually jump into that later on. As for this figure's articulation, guys, it is pretty straightforward as with the rest of the figure so far. Whoa, that's blurry. There we are. Oh, I just see Chris Hemsworth's face in this sculpt. They did a fantastic job over at Marvel Legends. As for his articulation, guys, his head doesn't really look up at all due to his long flowing locks back here. But his head does articulate down just a little bit. As for his arms, his arms articulate about this far, and he does have a bicep swivel and double hinged at the elbows. As for his wrist, he is on a wrist hinge and peg as well, so it does swivel down 
so it does hinge down. As for his ab crunch, his ab crunch is all the way forward, so he gets some good momentum there. And as for back, he does articulate back. This is a soft plastic, but to me, I feel like it still kind of gets in the way. You can get some more give, but then it gives you that gap, so they did a pretty good job at painting up into the ab crunch. I do respect that. As for his waist articulation, his waist is on a swivel. It rotates all the way around. He does have a thigh cut as well, which also rotates all the way around. Double hinged at the knees, like so. And as for his ankle articulation, he does articulate down and he articulates up and the beautiful ankle pivot, but no toe articulation, just like the rest of them. So let's go ahead, guys, and get some other figures out here for some size comparison. Here, guys, is the Thor and his battle armor suit. Obviously, they're going to stand at the same height. It is good to see that they stay consistent with this wave. Just to show you that they are the same guy, and so they're going to be the same size. And right here, guys, is Natalie Portman's Mighty Thor. Standing next to our Chris Hemsworth Ravenger Thor. And I do say that I do agree with the scale for the action figures. I've had time to sleep on it since the last review with these two. I think Natalie Portman actually does come up to Chris Hemsworth's shoulders like she does here. So I agree with the scale. Um, I don't recall if I disagreed with the scale in my last video. So if I did, I retract my previous statement. And right here, guys, we have Ravager Thor next to DC Multiverse Black Lightning. And I do still agree with this scale as well. Here, guys, we have Ravager Thor sized up to McFarlane Wave 1 Superman. And I will say I do think that these figures from Marvel Legends will size better with the Wave 1 McFarlane figures. Because if we go farther down to another Superman figure that McFarlane has done, this guy towers over Marvel Legends. So, it could work with some of McFarlane toys, but not all of McFarlane toys. I'm bringing Armored Thor back out here for you guys, just because I wanted to see a head swap with these two figures and also if I can get them off I would like to also see an arm swap as well I have noticed a lot of people have been doing the head swaps but not a lot of reviewers have been doing the well that, that just looks goofy it's like partially ready for battle but I guess when you're the god of thunder you can wear whatever you want here but I do think that this right here with the head swap looks absolutely phenomenal. It fits perfectly. Well, guys, as you can see, I swapped their heads back to the original figure that they came from. Now, I do have some bad news. I have noticed in some comments of other figure reviews of, well, why didn't you do an arm swap? Why didn't you do an arm swap? Sometimes Thor has, you know, no sleeves when he's in his battle armor. I tried it with these figures. I tried it with both of them, and... If I'm not going to lie to myself, I got a little nervous. I pulled and pulled and pulled, but I started hearing more of a cracking than a popping sound. So I got nervous and I backed out. So there will be no arm swapping with these figures today. If you get pick these figures up, more power to you to try it. But I really didn't want to risk breaking these figures because I just feel like they are just, they're too perfect to buy just to break. So. And alrighty guys, so here we are, we have made it to the end of the video, and as for my review with this figure, it is going to be a 8.5 out of 10. I love this figure, but unfortunately, I just wish that it came with a little bit more. I understand, we have Stormbreaker, with Jane we have Mjolnir, as you can see, he's holding on to Mjolnir right there. But I, I don't know, I just maybe some lightning effects with Marvel Legends Thor, you know? Maybe just a little bit extra than what we got. I know less is more, but I feel like 
when it comes to Thor, he should have some sort of electric ability coming with his figures. I mean, even Doctor Strange comes with magic type shields or some type of spell that he can use. So, 8.5 out of 10 for this guy. Still a phenomenal figure. Marvel Legends, you guys knocked it out of the park once again. And I, once again, cannot wait to get all of the Build-A-Figure pieces for this Korg action figure. With all that said, guys, though, if you could leave a like and a comment, that would be phenomenal. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Ah! <laughs>